of Ray of Food and Empowerment Foundation. Like she has said, what we have come to do here today is to commemorate Menstrual Hygiene Day. As we celebrate the seventh anniversary of our initiative, Stop the Red Spot and Father Girl, this is an initiative that is aimed to address period poverty in Nigeria and to ensure that every girl and woman has access to sanitary products and decent washrooms. Being able to help girls stay in school, reduce girls keeping classes due to unavailability of sanitary pads. And we have also created opportunities for them to reach their full potential. We commit to continue to strive forward in efforts to eradicate prayer poverty and stigma in Nigeria. Let us work together for a prayer friendly Nigeria where every girl and woman can live with dignity, respect, and where menstrual hygiene needs are met. Thank you so much. Let us continue to stop the rest of and part of the world. that okay because you are menstruating now you are not a normal human being again am i correct for some people they say you can't cook again am i correct for some people they say you can't enter a place to worship am i correct for some people they say ah because you are menstruating don't come near other people am i correct so it happens but is it correct is it right? Does that because I'm menstruating does it mean I'm no longer a human being? All right. Tell us how a girl. Uh, this one you're not menstruating, but how to take care of yourself as a girl. Two minutes. How a girl can take care of herself by bathing, bathe regularly, wash her underwear, don't allow yourself to be dirty, and also make sure you are clean at all times. I am Diane Kelechi Lawrence. I am a mental health counselor and a psychologist. There's something, a chemical in your body called hormones. In women, we have estrogen that works so much in our body, especially when we're coming towards that um, menstruation period. And this hormone is a chemical, it's a very good chemical in our body. This is what helps us to have babies as women, okay? So what happens when these hormones are there? They begin to make you feel different. They sometimes make you feel tired. They sometimes make you feel hungry. They sometimes make you feel um, like, um, like you need to sleep. They make you feel sleepy. You make you angry. So many emotions. Emotion simply talks about the way you feel. You begin to feel a whole lot of things that are not normal. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, wave your hands. Okay, before we start, I'm going to we are going to say some things together now. My body belongs to me. My body is my body. It's not for my daddy, it's not for my uncle, it's not for my friend, it's not for anybody. It is 
for me. And nobody has the right to touch it. To do what? We have uncles. See, uncles that will come and tell you, sit on my lap. There are plenty of these. Please, when you see them, you do what? Run. We are very, very happy. Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation has come to put smiles on our face. See the beautiful box they have given us. The boys, you also collected gifts because you participated. It is very, very remarkable. You now know what menstruation is all about. You can see the end by you. He was the one that showed you how you put your sanitary pad in pants. It is not something that you should be ashamed of or something that is just new. Gone are the days.